Jeff McAuley's fun time, happy hour, half hour, comedy hour, crazy accordion time. I think I missed a word in there. But in any case, I'm glad that you all could join us today. Yes, even you. On this special, special show, we have lots of lots of fun things for you. We have some guests, and we have some skips, something that we like to call short attention span theater. And, uh, and also, I always like to start off the show with a little joke. <laughs> um, let's see, what's a good one? Knock, knock. Oh yes, television. Um, so, uh, um, let's just go ahead and go on, and, and we'll start talking about uh, something I like to call ugh, a guest. Our first guest right now is Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez, come on down. Get out of here. Get out of here. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome to the show. How are you? Good, thanks, and yourself? I'm wonderful. Wonderful. I have some questions that have been submitted to us by our audience. Um, you can do that, by the way, if you would like to submit questions. Just simply dial on your touch-tone phone, 505-514-8619. Now, um, I, I hear that you have piercings. Yes, I do. And where are they? <laughs> um, I have my tongue pierced, and mm -hmm. my ears pierced, mm -hmm. and my nose pierced, and then um, a couple, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on television. And, and what do you do with those? I mean, not those, but the, uh, <laughs> the, the piercings. Um, I generally play with them Delicious. quite often. That, that, that reminds me, um, if, you were, if you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be, and why? A giraffe. And why? Because they're pretty. They are pretty. And tall. I wish I was taller. Really? Do yes. you? I hear that you have lots of shoes. I do. I have tons of shoes. How many shoes do you have? I own 52 pairs of shoes, actually. And how do any of those shoes make you taller? Yes, uh, quite a few of them do, actually. I tend to buy shoes that make me look taller because I wish I was taller. Mm. What is the tallest shoe that you have? Hold on Thank just you. a second, I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah. Yes, hello? <laughs> uh-huh. Oh. Oh, you meant it. Uh-huh. Just a sec. Um, hold on, I'm doing something. Um, clothes. Clothes. Do you have clothes? Do you have clothes? I, yes, I own lots of clothes. Tons of clothes. Pink clothes are my favorite kind of clothes because, you know, they're pink and that's my favorite color. Um, I own a few, a few blue ones. Um, Couple, couple yellow shirts. Not the too red many. Ones. Yeah, the red, definitely. Red. Yeah, I do own some red clothes. Not very many. Shh. Okay. Uh huh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm <laughs> well, listen. I really have to call you back. Uh huh. No. No. Yes. Oh, yes. This was a phone number. You got. Oh, you have a question. Oh. Carl. Well, Carl would like to know. Um, how many boyfriends do you currently have? Um, how many boyfriends? Um, it's a funny story, um, actually, three currently, um, five of yesterday, but, um, I'm pretty sure I broke up with two of them this morning. Yeah. You're not positive about that, though? No, I, I should probably call them. Well, there's your answer, Carl. Um, let's see here. Now, can you tell me about your most famous achievement? My most famous achievement was um, eating two whole bowls of macaroni and cheese. That's pretty sick. It's pretty wicked. Well, is there anything else, any parting words of advice that you would like to, to, to give out to our studio audience? Yes, I would just like to tell everybody um, that even though you heard that I do have a multiple boyfriends on I'm still available currently, um, so just give me a call whenever you'd like. Uh, my number will appear on the screen later on in the show. Excellent. Well, thank you for being here in the studio. Lovely cape, by the way. Thank you. What are you doing today? Lovely cape, by the way. Um, we'll go and talk about that later. Nice. <laughs> so next on our program, we have a little something that we like to call... <clears throat> Another guest. Um, who's the next guest? Um, dude, we didn't, we didn't book him. 
You, you! Come here. Just uh, scoot on down. That's Brooke. I don't know if you've met her. Um, nice <laughs> wouldn't you. you know it, our producer, our very own Jeff Hudson, is actually in the studio today. Um, he's a, he's a very he's a very busy man. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. He's a uh, he's Which camera? Um, uh, camera? That, that that one. We'll go with. Oh, yeah, go over there. Yeah, hi. yeah. <laughs> he's. Hi, John. Uh, <laughs> that's yes. Yeah, Waving into our... So anyway, yes. um, you just happened to be in the studio today. I did. Oh. I don't know why. I just happened to be here today. Some great luck. That's some great luck. Thank you. Um, oddly enough, I actually have questions prepared to ask you, though. You do? Well, I, I've always wanted to talk to you. I very rarely get a chance. Wow. And um, I was just wondering, since this is actually our 10th um, anniversary show, I, I was just wondering, have, has the show gone... Um, on as, as you had anticipated? Is it, is it everything that you had hoped it would be? This is the 10th anniversary show I it's been It's been 10 years already, isn't it crazy? Thing? It feels like the first time. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Every day, wow. you know, just come, coming out with the energy years? though is real important. Uh, 10 years, 10 oh, whoa, whole I years. I shouldn't have been doing that stuff I do because I didn't draw a blank for the last 10 years. Oh, yeah, oh, that one. <laughs> I, that so um, I'll, I'll ask you. Oh, that explains a lot. It, it does. It does. So, um, oh, I hear that you have an interesting story about London. I do. Um, the one time I was in London, they didn't let me out of the airport. And then uh, once I went through, th every time they'd let everybody else by and they started only frisking me. And it's some guy comes up and he snaps the gloves off and I'm standing there and I don't have anything. I mean, I don't, and he, he touched me all over. And he felt me up one leg and down the other. It was kind of ticklish, and I'm kind of feeling uh, uncomfortable. And, and damn, when I came back to London, same guy, same thing. I don't know what everybody else got to go through, and I was the only one they frisk. <laughs> this guy. Um, so that reminds me. Um, what, are you, what, are, what are your thoughts on the current political climate? Cold. Well, hopefully it's rainy, but I think it's cold. It is rather cold. Is rather cool. Mm. That's what you mm. meant, right? Yes. Do you know anything about hay weights? Hay weights? Yeah, I think that's. Oh, you're a playwright. That's what oh, that says. Not hay weights. Ah. Uh, do you, is that true that you write that you write plays? It is true. It is true. Um, I remember putting my fingers to a typewriter. It, it was, again, it was been blank for ten years, and going like this, and mm. words coming out and people responding to them, and I'm giving them the sheets of paper, and I remember that they are talking, and they're questioning me, but otherwise it's all kind of blurry. And it's uh, would you like to see one of my plays? Yes, that would be wonderful. Okay, can, uh, can we cut to, uh, we're gonna do the first spaces. Staring. Right. At? Me.
thank you, Jeffrey Hudson, for being in the studio. That was a wonderful rendition. Of Did you like my plays? It was it was amazing. I enjoyed it too. Amazing. Yeah, could you tell that they rehearsed for a long time? I, I was thinking that, um, but it's, it's very hard for me to tell on, on those kinds of things. Um, well, one of these eyes is a glass eyes? eye, and the other one is made Thanks. out of marble. Um, so Does anybody else out there want to be in one of my plays? Well, actually, actually we, we have time for one more guest, um, but okay. no room on the bench. Hmm, that's odd. No room on the bench for another guest. I can leave. Wait. Oh, wh well, I didn't. <laughs> well, that would be okay. What? Thanks. Sure thing. Thanks. Thanks nice meeting you again, even though I know you. <laughs> it's the. Oh. Um, so the next, our next guest is a man we all know and love, even you. We'd like to call him Eric Peterson, the most boring man on the planet. Come on in, Eric. Hi, Eric. So what's new? Eh, nothing much. So, do you see any good movies lately? Nah, I don't go to movies much. Well, I, I don't actually have any questions prepared for you, um, but I suppose I could use some from the other people. Uh, mm -hmm. No? Do you have any piercings? Well, um, not that I'm aware of, but, you know, crazy things happen sometimes. Do crazy things happen to you? Life is like that, I guess. Well, not really. Can you dance? Can, can you dance? No. Okay. No. Well, thank you. That was Eric. You can. I tell. Uh, yeah. right. Thank you. That was Eric Peterson, the most boring man on the planet. Um, yes. 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 Um, what else? What else? Where's the? Where'd my producer go? Uh, I don't know. Um, what's on the itinerary for the rest of the show? Uh, circus elephants. Circus elephants, indeed. No, there's something on the. <laughs> this is where we have a musical interlude, and uh, Brooke recites poetry. What about the elephants? I once saw a dog. It wasn't a hog. And then there was a log. Did you write that yourself? I did. Um, that was actually a piece I've been working on for the past six months. What do you think? I think that we need to have input from our very own spectacular critic, Eric Peterson, <laughs> the critic's man, the critic's choice. So, Eric, you heard the poem, didn't you? Yeah. What did you think about it? It was all right, I guess. There you have it. That's like, what, is that like a five star, four star? Well, yeah, yeah four and three quarters. Yeah, three quarters. Maybe. I'll sit over here. Well, that's it for this portion of the program. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and break to commercial. We're, right? We're, this is public access. There's no commercial. There's no commercials. Right. Well, I really need to hit the Johns. Oh, wow. I'll be. Yeah. Yes. I. Maybe not. Because. So. <laughs> How many ADD kids does it take to change the light bulb? I'm hungry! I'm bored! I wanna watch a movie! I wanna go roller skating! I wanna go ice skating! I wanna watch a movie! Wait, you said that! Let's go! Do cartwheels! And I wanna go change the light bulb! We have to change the light bulb! But I'm hungry, girls! We should get pizza and hamburgers and stuff! I want pizza! I want pizza!
Okay, gentlemen, gentlemen. It's time for a fun song. Oh. Are you ready for the fun song? Yay! <laughs> Today's song is all about picking your nose. Picking your nose. <laughs> Picking my nose, you know what I found? A booger! <laughs> no. Go! Go! Now I'm rich. Oh boy. That's so Just from picking my nose. It's that simple. So then I started to walk down the street. Macarena bee? Yes! Wait a second. What do you mean? Well, actually, I said rabies. Rabies? Oh, a dragon.